Well, this is another little line and wash flower painting. They are so much fun to do. I started out with the pencil so that I could fiddle around with the composition and erase it and move it the little parts around until I was happy with the uh, everything. I'm using a Micron Deluxe pen. They are waterproof and um, if it's not a deluxe it will uh, run when you hit it with the watercolors. They come in two types. There's the one, the black one, which I have here, which is a 0 0.5 millimeter. And they come in a silver gray color, which is a 0 0.7 millimeter. If you're looking for a hobby that costs very little, you can do it for pennies and have a lifetime of pleasure doing little line and washes like this is certainly a, a good idea, is a ch good choice. I certainly enjoy them and I have been doing this for a very long time. All the watercolors are Windsor Newton. I got a set of tubes and I fill my little trays with the tubes. And the brush is a number four watercolor brush. I believe I do the entire painting with this one brush. And the paper is nothing special. It comes from Walmart. It is, uh, I believe it's called cardstock. It's very inexpensive. You get a big sheet and I just cut it up into 8 by 10 inch panels. This color is burnt umber.
I think the little bee adds something to the painting. I don't know. I enjoy doing, putting a little bee in anyway. The yellow is uh, lemon yellow from Windsor Newton. A little bit of orange in it. Now we are using a uh, quinacridone magenta with a little bit of purple in it. But you can do the flower any color you like. It could be yellow, orange, red, blue, purple. Some of the tulips are actually quite different color, many different colors in one in the same tulip This is sap green, Windsor Newton sap green. That is a uh, Payne's Gray. I'm just using it to give an indication of a shadow. Now we're back to a, um, a mixture of purple and quinacridone magenta. The old brush looks a bit beat up, but I've been using it for a very long time. 
They last for a very long time if you keep them clean and don't abuse them. I guess the wood swells and chips the paint off from washing them. We're back with the sap green again. That is uh, Payne's Gray on the little wings of the bee. Back to a burnt umber. I think I put a little bit of burnt sienna in it, which makes it a little redder. Back to the micron pen to put the black on the bee and highlight some of the line work. I thought a little blade of grass or something would sort of fill in that area. That's burnt umber.
Likewise, I thought it needed a little bit of something in this area too. I thought it was a bit blank and the contrast on the flower and the white was a little too intense. So I put a sap green leaf there. A tulip leaf. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure enjoy doing them. You can get a lifetime of joy from doing little paintings. Do uh, subscribe to my channel if you would like more to see more of them, more videos. <laughs>